Hello everybody, welcome to Dakman Productions and welcome to the 2024 TCA Eastern Division Spring Show Meet here at the York Fairgrounds. So, excited to be here today for this event. I'd like to thank the TCA for bringing me back again for the third year of being the official, right there, staff and uh, the official videographer for the event. Thank you very much. And so let's take a look around. So we're gonna walk through the halls today. Um, I'm probably gonna concentrate on most of my video on O-Gage this time around because as you heard my video announcement, they opened up photography and videography to all the halls, but you do have to ask the uh, person at the table their permission before you do that. As long as they're okay with it, you go ahead and you can shoot your video. So there's a lot of halls here today, so that's why I'm concentrating on O-Gage since how my channel focuses on that. This is actually uh, called the Orange Hall at the TCA Eastern Division York Show Meet. And this is where all the manufacturers are at. So this is the hall that I recommended to stop at first uh, if you're coming here and uh, take a look around. So we're gonna go ahead inside. This is Wednesday. And uh, so the TCA brings me in as their official videographer which allows me to come in behind the scenes before the public is even here and uh, get a head start on <laughs> some video shoots and I really appreciate that and so let's check out inside here on Wednesday so here I am Dakman Productions inside the uh, Orange Hall the Weiss Arena Hall TCA 2024 Spring Show and uh, we're behind the scenes right now. I'd like to thank the TCA Eastern Division for bringing me in as staff, the official videographer. And uh, this allows me to get behind the scenes before uh, the general public and members get in. And it gives me a head start <laughs> for videos as well. Uh, appreciate that. And um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, walk around I'll talk to different vendors and people and get some uh, show footage for you guys. Um, this time around, I'm going to plan on sticking to O gauge. I know in the past I've done standard gauge, uh, S gauge, but this time there's just so much more because they open up the rules to allow videography in all the halls. Now it's just too much. I need another three or four DAC bands just to shoot this event. So. But at any rate, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, show you guys around. Look who's hard at work. Hey, I'm going to try to eye it up make sure it all fits in there like a puzzle piece. So, how are you doing? Pretty good. good. Pretty good. Good to see you. Good to see you too. You're on setup day. Yeah. Um, so I, I guess I saw you guys last at. Uh, Edison, Edison, right? Yep. Yep. So you're back here. Yep. And this will be the last one we do until the summer. Until the summer so, time, right? Right. Yeah. We only do a few around the area. Oh, okay. But yeah, we're looking forward to it. You know, three days of fun. Yep. And so the the people, the viewers, get to see you working behind the scenes right. as what it takes to set all this up. Yeah. And as we pan along, you got quite a bit done. So what what time did you actually start? We they let us in at eight o'clock. We it, pulled in the parking lot about 7 15 or so just to get a good parking space. But yeah, about 8 o'clock they, they uh, let us in, and this is as far as we are. You know, well, you six got. Hours you, later, so. How much? Six hours. Well, six, hours two, right? six hours. Six so. hours. Yeah. And I did mention that in my video that I did about the York to promote the show about how hard the vendors like you work as far as traveling and the amount of labor. And so you're talking about six hours just here. So you guys still pack this back up. Take it back to your shop and unpack it again? Right. Well, yeah, it, it actually started yesterday. Right. We rented the Penske truck. And so we packed, these guys packed up all the boxes, you know, all week long in the store. Right. We loaded the Penske truck last night and then so we could get an early start this morning. <laughs> yep. And then come Saturday afternoon, we'll be packing it all up, packing this truck up again, and then dumping it off in the... Uh, so everybody has a better understanding of what the hobby shops go through. What do you think your total labor time is in doing all this from start, from plant or getting ready for the trip until you get home? Well, it's two guys in the store, so and I said they worked, you know, pretty much a couple of days getting everything packed in boxes. So that's what 16 hours there. 
and then all weekend long is you know another 24 hours, and then unpacking it all, it's you know probably another 16. So 32 and 24 added up. <laughs> it's a lot of work. I, I appreciate that that um, feedback because I. I I didn't realize that the hours were that high. Yeah. Right. So. Well, and they have a lot of. Products. Oh yeah. Some of the other the smaller tables it wouldn't take them that long. But, but yeah. th this helps people who are attending understand the, the amount of time that it takes to do this. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean. Now, I think I said it before. It's not like poof, it's all done. You know, <laughs> it actually takes a little yeah. bit of effort. You know. Yeah. So, dress down for the day and then. Right. Come yeah. Home and pass out. Yeah. Tomorrow's your show day, so you'll be yeah. in your your show attire tomorrow. I'll be all dialed up. Today. <laughs> Today's not like that. You know. <laughs> yeah, Rick will be wearing his makeup. I'm sure. <laughs> not makeup. <laughs> all right. I appreciate your time. I'll let you get back to work. All right. Thanks, John. We'll all see right. You. We'll see you. See you guys this weekend. All right. We'll see you. And there's Kevin Quinn, TCA. Sean, how are you? How you doing? Good, good. How you doing? Hey, everybody out there in Dacman Productions, York, 2024, you got to be here. If you're not here, get your butt here now. <laughs> yes, I'll keep it clean for you. Yeah. I don't want no static for you. <laughs> right, right. How you doing? Good, good. Yeah, and when I was at the Mecca show, you said the same thing. Get your I butt did. here. I did. So and I, you did. And I and did. You were here. I listened. I got to show you something, Sean, because you guys inspired me. Oh. I got to show you something. I got to find a picture. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see this out there, but you know he's a Conrail freak, right? <laughs> All right, so look, look, look at that. Oh wow! I'm running Conrail engines on my uh, layout. Kevin Quinn's running Conrail locomotives on I his I shouldn't layout. be, but I am. <laughs> That's because of you, Sean. That's because of you. <laughs> nice to see Big Blue showing up on the other layouts. Oh yeah. Only because the engines pull well. That's it. They got a, got a string of cars behind it, pulling well. So. And I did enjoy your story, Conrail story about how Conrail actually pulled. Uh, Passengers. I'm surprised you didn't know that. No, I didn't. Conrail guy. No, no. Oh, and yeah. when I researched that, and I'm sure you saw my Mecca video yeah, where I made it. Yeah, subsidized by the state new yeah. for those years. So at the end of the video, I made mention of that. I showed saw it. The soul, showed I pictures. It. I liked it. <laughs> See, I watch his stuff too. Not just because I'm on there. <laughs> We're setting up here. Yeah, well, I'll be back uh, tomorrow, actually, with Stu yeah. to talk about the stuff on the table. Now, last night we had the welcome party here, which went great. We had about 160 people here last night. Oh, wow. We had a blast. We had a blast. We ate well. We laughed and had a good time. It was good camaraderie. It was a welcome party. And then we set up. You saw it's all covered. Right. But when you come back tomorrow, we'll go over everything that's on the table out front. Right. Okay, that's cool. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah. Everything else good? Everything's good. Excellent. And uh, I'm just happy to be back behind the scenes I'm again. I'm glad you are. <laughs> I'm glad you are. There's not many other guys here. Oh, no, not, not today. But uh, Are the rest of the guys coming that you know of? I, I know a few guys coming, okay, yeah. Good. yeah. Well, if you guys are listening, and I know you guys watch each other's stuff, you need to be here. We need you here. We want you here. You guys are doing a fantastic job for the hobby. We appreciate it. We really do appreciate it. We can't thank you guys enough. All You're right. doing a great service to the hobby. <laughs> thank you very much. Sean, good to see you, my friend. All right, well, good to see you. Always a pleasure. I'll be around till Saturday afternoon. Getting lots and lots of video. Yes, you will. <laughs> All right, we'll All catch right, you. Brother.
I mean, scale one of them down and just make them one of them. Yeah. You know. How's your dad doing? Mm. Okay, I mean. Mm -hmm. I got a question for you. Yes, sir. So, did you know that the MTH is no longer around? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> what people are saying on the internet. Glad to see you guys out here. Thank you. <laughs> Glad to see you guys putting out new product, too. Thank you. But yes, MTH is doing well and fine. So today is Saturday at the TCA, 2024 TCA show, and I'm going to be going inside for a TCA Eastern Vision meeting and address them and thank them for bringing me aboard as the official videographer and also thank them for changing the rules to allow photography. So as you can see, I got my official TCA shirt on for this meeting. And we're going to uh, address the board and the TCA members, and hopefully it's a, a positive response. Uh, first order of business is to have Russell Ewins, the secretary, see if we have a quorum. Mr. Ewins. I'm going to do the roll call for the board directors. First, President Bob Ewins. Here. Past President Dan Daniels. Not here. Vice President Richard Norman. Meet Secretary Russell, Treasurer Frank Nichols, here. Director John Zogel, Director Robert Newman, here. Director Tom Michael, right here. He's here. And uh, uh, WBNA uh, Rep Robert Hine, present. And New York Chapter Rep Frank Petty, here. Uh, 26. 27. 27. Our count is 27. Our quorum. Call is for 30, so we do not have a quorum. Excuse me. Thank you. What we did, uh, if you saw the vote, we had a quorum in our rules that uh, required 50 people in this meeting, so we lowered it to 30, and we still can't get a quorum. So we keep trying. I don't, I don't tend to lower. lower it anymore, but I need to probably change how we do business. <coughs> so. With that, uh, I'll move on to the treasury report. Frank, if you would tell us what's going on money-wise. No secretary report? I'll come back to it. You go ahead. Okay. Uh, does everybody have a financial report? Yep. I had last night. They actually started in the Eastern Division as a chapter of us, and then broke off and went with Great Lakes where they are today as a chapter of today. So we have two chapters in the Eastern Division today, and we actually had one more, one time. And they're all celebrating 60 years. I don't know how old your chapter is, but I know WBNA and the Erie chapter both 60 years this year. So yeah. I, I got one more thing. Okay. Um, let, let Charlie give you the. We are at this point. The national convention is the uh, third week in June.
We start on the 16th of June and we go through that following Saturday, which is the 22nd officially. Uh, we also have tours on Sunday, the 23rd to Gettysburg. There'll be a Gettysburg tour on Sunday. And uh, already some people are staying overnight, Sunday night, which we weren't planning on at the hotel. But today, uh, here's where we are, just to give you an idea. We had planned on 400 people registering for the convention. Right now, we're a little over 200, so we're kind of 50% there. Uh, you know, so I, I believe, and of course the people in Nashville are a little concerned what's going on, and I said, the problem is York's in the way. Get York out of the way this week. I think people will start registering more next week. So that's what's going on, on registration. When we started planning the convention, and we did this actually before COVID, in fact, the prices for food at the hotel was pre-COVID, and you know what's happened to food prices since then. Um, so we did well there. What really stuck us on cost was the uh, tour company and cost of running the tours. Petroleum products for the buses and whatnot. It almost doubled in price, the cost of the buses for the tours, which is unbelievable. But that's what happened. So we had to get them to back out some things and get the prices more competitive. So the booklet, if you haven't received it from National, has all the tours listed in the booth that we have in the uh, Silver Hall, is that where you're at? We have uh, brochures and an application to apply to for the uh, convention. And uh, we started out with 21 tours starting on Sunday, which by the way, is already a Northern tour, which I'm gonna be on on Sunday. It's an all day tour from uh, Reading to Jim Thorpe and then up into the uh, scenic area on their scenic train. So it's really, we take two trains all day, coming back in the evening. Beautiful tour all day. People that have done it told me so much about it. We're excited. I think that tour will, will fill up. Now, I talk about filling up is we have a tour, we break even, we get 45 people. So 45 people in any tour breaks even. Anything above that is profit. And the buses can hold 54 to 57 people on the bus, so we can do about 10 more folks on each tour. Anyway, uh, right now of the 21 tours, we canceled three. And the reason we canceled three was because of lack of interest. One of the tours that we canceled was the historic downtown tour of Lancaster. Uh, I think we had four people sign up for that so far, so we canceled that. And uh, two other ones that were not popular at all. One was a, uh, uh, a tour in Lancaster for the furnace, it was the ironworks that the Amish do. I've been there, I've seen that when I lived here. It's a great tour, but it doesn't see any interest. So that one was canceled. And then we actually had two downtown Lancaster tours. We're probably gonna cancel more because we have to look at the cost and if it doesn't, we don't have the people, we call, what we do is if you signed up and we cancel a tour, we offer you to move to another tour of your choice. So we don't, quote, refund your money. That's what we've been doing. The people so far that we've canceled have worked with us on that. So that's worked out okay. Uh, we have the marketplace on uh, Wednesday night no, start. Excuse, excuse me. You open up on Thursday, uh, and we're doing something different this time. Just so you know, because we—if you ever been to any of the national conventions, they usually have the marketplace Friday and Saturday. And the complaint is everyone's on tours, so no one comes to the marketplace. Very negative. And the the dealers or vendors have told me I'm not going to do it because I can't do anything. So what we did this year on Thursday, we're going to have. 4 to 8 p.m. in the marketplace, TCA members only. And then Friday, Saturday, regular time, will be open to the general public and TCA members. So that will be Friday and Saturday. The setup will be Thursday morning through the afternoon. We right now have at least two operating layouts, possibly three now. We got three, four now. Four. We keep uh, expanding. This well, we, we gain 1,700 square feet. There you go, you're rocking there. Peter Condra up here in front, he's in charge of operating layouts for me. And uh, when we came here last week, we earlier this week, we only had two, and we're up, we gained two more because we found we had more space at the hotel. So this is all good, but uh, it looks exciting that we'll have operating layouts starting at four o'clock on Thursday, along with the marketplace. And mostly want to give just a brief uh, idea, give us what, how many tables you've sold so far. So speaking of change, the TCA had brought me aboard as their official videographer two years ago. They decided to 
which I thought was a great thing to do, to open up a position to bring somebody aboard and promote the hobby through social media. And that change was really needed because without social media, you can do all the advertising you want in a magazine, on a website, but that doesn't work anymore. And they realized this, it wasn't working. Because social media is where all the new generation's at. They're not in a magazine, they're not on a website. They have their, they have their own Facebook groups, they have their own Facebook pages, they're on Instagram. And so, if, to expose the TCA a lot more, and to advertise it more is really important to bring that to social media platforms if you wanted the newer generation to see what the TCA was all about. And so when I was brought aboard in 2022, um, Bob approached me and um, I was like, okay, what are you looking for? He understood that I was a, a trained model enthusiast myself, always has been for many, many years. So I knew about trains and being a videographer at the same time. I've done many shows. Anybody who knows uh, might not know. I'm, I'm Sean Conhey. Dak Band Productions is my YouTube channel. Um, up to uh, 13,500 subscribers. So he knew I could make or help the TCA advertise. And one of my things I was really pushing for since 2022 is to open up photography and video to all the halls. And I felt that was important to help not only the TCA, but also helps the vendors. It helps the hobby shops. And how does it do that for you guys? It's because when people see these videos, they're like, wow, I want to go there. They see these trains, and that's what inspires them to come here on video. And I show these vendors and the ones who want to be on video, I make sure I get their name. And they've all told me they've gotten sales off the videos of the people who can't attend. And then people who've never been here before, they've come up to me. People talk to me because I, I interact with the the public, the viewers, I'm always at shows. I'm not a YouTuber who just, you know, sits in my basement and just promotes myself. I don't. I, I promote the, the hobby, the uh, organizations, the clubs, the uh, vendors, the hobby shops. And they all, they're all telling me that this works. So one of the things I wanted to say positive, I'm not, I know I'm dragging this out a little bit, but I would like to thank the TCA for not only bringing me aboard as the videographer and giving me this opportunity, but also like to thank them for the, the rule change of allowing photography in all the halls. And also, I totally agree with the safeguards of making sure you ask the vendor at the table if that's okay because that's their safeguard. And I totally respect that and just want you guys to know that um, it's all appreciated and I've been getting a lot of great feedback for the first time since I've been doing this the last two years they're like wow the TCA really did this we really didn't expect that we really didn't expect them to change the rules because they were so set in their ways now you guys are impressing them because you guys changed these rules and they're cheering for the TCA now. They're happy. And this is the feedback I'm giving. I wanted to share today. And I wanted to make sure you guys knew that I thank you guys for helping to make that happen. And it's, it's all been positive. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. So it's Saturday, the end of the 2024 TCA Eastern Revision Spring Event. Uh, had a very tiring week, but had lots of fun. Met a lot of great people. I'd like to thank the viewers and uh, those who support the channel for all the kind words for all the past days that I've been here. It's been uh, overwhelming. And I, I just, 
you know, you don't know the support of people until you meet them in person. And it, it's, it really made a difference meeting you guys out here today. But at any rate, um, it's the end of the show. Sad to have to go home, but, you know, I'm going to get some videos out here for you guys and do some shopping. And the only favor I ask in return is that please when if you see something on video that you want and you decide to call that place let them know you saw on Dakman Productions I don't make a commission I don't make any money off of that I just want the vendors and the hobby shops to know that these videos work for them until next show we'll catch you guys trackside So it's Saturday, it's the end of the TCA, so it's Saturday, it's the end of the, so it's Saturday, it's the end of the 2024 TCA spring fall event, what, no, so it's Saturday, the end of the 2024 TCA Eastern Revision spring event,